Today is the start of me trying to get ahead of the game when it comes to all things Christmassy. I like to, in my own small way, um, do little things for charities here and there. And one of the things that I used to do a lot was the shoebox appeal. But as my kids got older and older, we kind of fell out the habit. If you don't know, shoebox appeal is getting a shoebox, and what you do is you fill it with lovely things, little gifts, and um, maybe a few essential things. So, I have my shoe box. Um, first thing to do is wrap it. So I'm gonna wrap it. My baby, he don't talk sweet He ain't got much to say Okay, so here is my box, done. Wrapped, and it looks nice inside. So it's ready to fill. What you need to do is you need to label it. So I've decided I'm going to do a girl, 10 to 14 years old. So um, get a sticker. Um, right, I'm gonna put that on there. Like that, it's on. Um, okay, so you could do a girl or a boy. You can do like pre-toddler, so I guess, younger than four, then like five to nine, and then sort of 10 to 15 or 10 to 14. I've chosen a girl just because I have a daughter and we have stuff that's kind of embarrassingly new sitting around um, that could go to a good home. Um, in the olden days when my kids were little, um, you could put all sorts of stuff in, but nail polish, liquids, lotions, anything that actually um, could be construed as um, politically related or war related um, or even have religious connotations are a no-no. So if you want to do this, it's worth, if you're not quite sure, it's worth checking. But things like skipping ropes, yo-yos, like a little uh, football for a boy or a doll for a girl. Because I'm doing an older girl, um, I thought I would go with stationery. I think stationery is something that all girls love, actually. Um, so, I started with that as my base. Um, so I got a couple of little notebooks, one that's lined and one that's unlined, for like drawing pictures and stuff. I thought that might be fun. So, those are going in. Um, and then some felt tips that are new, and I've wrapped it with a bit of ribbon to make it look nice. Then there are some little multicoloured highlighters also wrapped. But when my kids were young, they used to love these four-way biros. They're from Bic and they're really inexpensive, but kids seem to love those, so that's going in. Um, and then I found this that I bought last Christmas and I didn't end up giving it to someone. It's got a washable inside, sort of waterproof, and it's a lovely vintagey little pouch from Kath Kidson. Um, I don't think it was very much, it was like 4 99 and what I would say with all this stuff is it's, it's not really expensive, it's kind of the thought. So whoever this goes to could use that as a pencil case but could also use it as a toiletries case or something. I thought it was quite pretty. Um, so that's going in. Um, then I wanted to put a few essential items in. I've got this Kath Kidson gift set of soap, but actually we all need soap. Um, I'm also going to find some little miniature toothpaste tubes and a toothbrush, because I think it's nice to give something that's kind of practical, but not too practical. Um, and then I found this. Uh, which was given to my daughter, as you can see the tag is still on, so it is new. It's woolly, but it's like a little um, kind of cutaway top. In red, I just think it's really pretty and um, it kind of feels like a little bit of a luxurious item that you might not have if you're getting a shoebox from Samaritan, so maybe something something nice to have. And I'm also going to put this in, which is a little woolly hat that's got a lovely um, kind of studded kind of angel design. I'm going to put that in. I often think that people um, who are receiving these boxes, warmth is a thing, I think, because we're also all mostly very lucky that we have eating and stuff like that. The other thing I might put in there, 
<laughs> which might be mixed messages with the toothpaste and toothbrush is some little sweets or something like that. I think I googled and they said no chocolate. Also, no really fragile things that could get broken. I think it would be really gutting to get really excited to get a Prezi and then it be broken and I think mirrors and things like that are a no-no. You might know all about these shoe boxes and you might be thinking what on earth is she telling us about these but I've recently discovered them again and I think it's a really lovely thing to do at Christmas. Anyway I'm not going to get all sanctimonious, um, I just want to spread the Christmas cheer. I'm going to come back with some other Christmassy type vlogs um, and there's some more fashion-y stuff going up and a few music -y things up on my blog. So check it all out. Please keep in touch. And um, yeah, I hope to see you really soon. Take care. Bye.